was, uh, they couldn't find a team to play this game. And uh, the purpose for us was, uh, let's, let's go see what the best looks like. And I think we have enough young guys, have four freshmen on our team guys. And this team, I thought we could handle it. This was, we want to see them. We want to play against them. They're a ton of respect for their program. Everybody in the country does. They're, they're sitting on a good year. They had a lot coming back. Sasser and all the other guys. So we wanted to, yeah, we wanted to play them. We wanted to get on the court with them. You don't, it's so hard to get games against these teams. Um, I know Kelvin would play it. He's, you don't play anybody. So uh, that was, that was the goal. And I would say it met what we were trying to get. And we got to see a really good defensive team. It's really pretty, very right. And it is good for us. And it's not good to lose and we didn't want to come out here and lose, but it's what we needed. And uh, I wish we came out here eight no. I thought we should have, but and that's how it works sometimes. And so um, I think it'll make us better. It'll make us better in December, January, February, and March. So that's why we did it. And then uh, good game. They're good. They're tough. They just they exposed us, to which we've been exposed. Uh, us offensively, we have to get a lot better there. But we had 17 turnovers. Luckily, we didn't let them turn them in transition and, and were able to stay in the game. What were you able to do against our guards? It's, you know, Shed and Sasser, you guys played them as you know, well as almost anyone has. Yeah, I thought we did a good job on those two, Sasser and Shed. Really did a good job on Shed. But we, our guard, uh, Logan Johnson, I, I think he's one of the best defensive guards country he's really good and so I kind of went into the game thinking we're gonna be okay there because he can he's 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 guarded them all this year we played some good guards and last year we have he's seen them all he's a really good defender so I felt we had a good match up there we didn't have to bring a lot of help and then Chad scared me more and our younger guards had to guard him but we did a pretty good job on him he makes I think he's I think he's the head of a snake that team he's just tough He's good defensively. He just he's just tough. So, but we did we we held him to a low field goal percentage. Made him take some tough shots, and he missed he missed a lot of them tonight. So, that was our mentality coming in. The other one, uh, Kyle Bowen is a really good defender. He was able to um, take on that four man, the freshman, and again we didn't have to bring help on that kid. He he didn't have a good game because um, of Kyle. So. That gave us two of the three leading scorers. We felt like we, we, we weren't going to have to help a lot, and they weren't going to hurt us too much. And that's kind of what happened. And so the other guys, the kid who hurt us was Roberts. They're, they're five men, he hurt us. So you're not going to stop them all, but we stopped a couple of the good ones that we needed to, and, and Shed, was a, Shed was a key one. I was worried about that one. Kevin was saying uh, that you knew both teams defensively, it was going to be a, a mud bath, is what, what he said. When, when, you, when you get such two good defensive teams together, does that just maybe magnify the, the stretches offensively where you, when you get the shots, you got you to cash in on them just because you're not going to get a lot of a lot of opportunities, a lot of scoring chances? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, you got to, you, grind, you have to grind them down to get a good shot. They're not just going to give you a good shot. They're not going to give you transition. And, and they can they can erase their mistakes, too. They, can, they have good rim protection. So we needed to turn it over less. Other, other than that, we we did all right against them. They're holding teams at 30. At least we got 37%. So we have to do better. But against those guys, they're really good defensively. They're really good defensively. They're really good on the boards, and uh, we won the boards. 
I think the area we were bad is to take care of the ball. They get, we had 17 turnovers, they had five. They had 12 extra possessions in a game to 53. That's a lot. So, but they are, I think they're really good defensively. And you don't see many teams that good defensively. So that's where I think it'll be better for us in, in the long run. We'll get better because of this game if we, if we handle it right. It's not unusual for you guys to play the number one team. You've done it plenty. How is this? Is, is the defense the thing that sort of defines how this test is a little different from what you see against the Zags when you see them? Zags, are, they're, they're, these guys are quicker. Um, but the Zags are good. Gonzaga is good defensively too. They have. They have been over the years. And that's, I mean, you're not going to be number one in the country without being really good on the defensive end. I would say Houston is, uh, they're, just, they're just quick everywhere. And they're well coached, obviously, you know, and they play hard. The ball's on the floor. They're getting it. The best thing about the program, they do a lot of things right. The best thing about the program is their toughness and their togetherness. Like you can, you can feel it, you can see it. It's the way it should be. He takes no BS from his guys. His guys are trying to be good. It's the way it should be. It's, it's how kids get good. He, he, he doesn't cripple the kids. He makes them. He he makes them. He holds them accountable to reaching the, the standard. And he doesn't love. He doesn't love the bar for them. So the kids make. A lot of times they don't know that when they're going through it, but that's what good coaches do. And you get players to buy into that, and he's got that. And that's why they play hard. That's why they're a team, and that's why he's built this thing into the number one program, or number one team in the country. But you're right. We play. We see. We've seen number one, so it doesn't. It doesn't rattle our guys. Now our freshmen haven't seen it, but our returners have. We've beat number one two of the last three years. So it wasn't, hey, we're playing number one. It wasn't, there was none of that. Like, we didn't even discuss it once. So that helps, that helps us. But that's what you gotta do, it'd be good. You, gotta, that, you can't be your all excited because you're playing a team that's ranked and the game's be on TV. We have to be past that. That's what I was kind of trying to say to you. We wanna play that game because we need to play that game if we're ever gonna become that. Coach, you mentioned their quickness, their toughness. Uh, was there one area that you would say was the biggest challenge for you guys uh, when it came to playing these guys, or was it one of those areas? <laughs> it was. It was. It was scoring. Mm -hmm. I went in the game. I, was like, I don't know how the heck we're gonna score. And you look at the other teams. Not, not, even the t the game they played against Kent State. What was the score? 50? 49-44. 49 44. Yeah. <laughs> so it's. Kent State's good program, so that's what that was my biggest concern going into it was how are we going to score? Now you, you could you could give yourself no chance if you just let them get easy baskets. So that was our goal: don't give them easy baskets. That's transition. That's turning it over for pick sixes. That's give them offense rebounds. That's just let Sasser shoot open threes. We did a good job, but we couldn't we couldn't, we couldn't score to a percentage that we needed to to beat them. Mm -hmm. Close. Yeah. Not quite. Thanks, guys. Was this the last non-conference game that you mentioned? You mentioned uh, in terms of ability 